My first relationship with David was as a publicist. I did the publicity for the Al Pacino uh, American Buffalo. It was approximately 10 years after that that I called Sage and said I want to do Glen Gary, Glen Ross. And David said, well, you know, let's give him a shot. Then we followed it with November then Speed the Plow, and last year Race. And so it's been a very rewarding collaboration over the past five years. I love the plays. I love the, I, I respect so much David as a writer. I think he is, you know, say our foremost playwright. There was an era where they talked about Williams and Miller. I think now they talk about, well, they talked about Mamet and Albeer, Mamet and Wilson, whatever. I mean, he's one of our great writers. And I'm especially excited when there's something new, but I, spe I also, and thrilled at the rediscovery of his works, like Speed the Plow, like Glen Gary, and like I Trust the Life in the Theater. This is David Mamet in a different kind of mode. It's his Valentine to the theater, a romanticism about the stage that is a different tone than some of David's plays. I, I find that David never repeats himself in his writing, whether it's taking a real estate office, Glen Gary, or whether it's uh, looking at political election like November, which was raucously funny, or whether it's race examining racial relations, he explores different avenues. I hope he continues to do that. I'm especially excited also to be working with uh, Patrick Stewart and Tiara Knight, who I saw many years ago off Broadway and who's wonderful and noises off. So I think we have the perfect cast for this. A life in the theater is... You know, there, there's, there's something very special about it, something unique, something joyous and happy about it.